Alright adventurers, welcome to All Play. I'm excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm hyped. I'm excited. This this one was hard to keep under wraps until everything needed to be said. Uh, we're going to be kicking off the next series of our Pokemon Nuzlocke playthrough of every single game. That's right, I've said it. We're going to try our best to play through every generation. And third gen, we're taking on Pokemon Ruby version. A lot of you might be asking, chill, why aren't you going to play through Emerald? It makes more sense to play through Emerald. No, it doesn't. Be quiet. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> For those of you who are new to the channel who don't know who I am, I'm Chill the Beast. Don't call me Alt Play. I'm not Alt Play. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Eternal battery is running dry. The game can be playing. Our clock base events will no longer occur. Shut up. It'll be okay. All right. So this is the intro to the game. Typically, here's where I would begin explaining the rules for the Nuzlocke. I'm going to just do, do, do just that. But one of the things that I want to do that's different for this playthrough, we're not going to have shift mode. The difference between shift and set for the battle style is that... For shift, whenever a Pokemon trainer has two Pokemon, at least two, and the first one faints and they get ready to send the second out, it says, cool trainer Mikey is going to send out Pidgey. Would you like to switch? We're not going to have that capability. We're going to be in set. So if, if cool trainer Mikey's first Pokemon faints, he's going to send out Pidgey. We don't have the opportunity to switch to a new Pokemon. Let's see. Which border do I want? I think I want I think I want this border. Let's go with this border. All right. Let's hop into the game. I'll begin explaining the rules for the Nuzlocke as uh as I get things set up. So this is Professor Birch. He's gonna take us through Pokemon. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. He's got Bayonet. This go be good. This is, oh, I read that already. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Okay, as I said, I am chill. I am a boy. I am chill. Okay, so the rules for this Nuzlocke. And if you're not familiar with the with what a Nuzlocke is, this episode is just for you. <sighs> okay, so a Nuzlocke is basically a harder way of playing a Pokemon game. It's a much harder way. It, it invokes, it's self-imposing some rules that make the game a little bit more challenging. The very first rule is... You must nickname all your Pokemon. We're going to start with that one as our first rule. I don't care. The order doesn't matter. It'll be all right. You must nickname all your Pokemon and refer to them by such nicknames. The second is that you're only allowed to catch one Pokemon per route. And that's the first Pokemon that you encounter on said route. Let's say, for example, we run into a Pidgey. Let's say we run into a Pidgey as our first Pokemon as soon as we leave our hometown. Then uh, we only get the chance to catch that Pidgey. We only get the chance to catch that Pidgey. Mom's right here. Give me a second. Chill. We're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with all our things in the moving truck. Why can't I sit in the front? We ain't got two seats. We ain't got two seatbelts. Why can't I sit in the front? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. 
It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Chill. Let's go inside. All right, so we're going to go inside and set a few things up for this game. See, Chill? Isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Chill, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark your arm move here. Don't forget to set it. All right, I'm going to go up and set that clock. It's going to be interesting what time I'm recording. Because I said I'd never, ever record around this time again. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the, the you're only allowed to catch one Pokemon per route. So if you run to a Pidgey as you leave town as your first Pokemon, that's what Pokemon you can catch. What time is it? That's the Pokemon you can catch. You're not allowed to try and catch anything else with that route. Uh, that rule isn't played to teach you to use different Pokemon than you typically would on a playthrough. I know I probably wouldn't use a Pidgey in these early games. Let's see. It is 1022. This going to be good. Chill. How do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Yes, my book and computer, my only possessions, are, are right in place. I'm going to get the potion out of the box. There we go. Now, rule number two. If a Pokemon faints, that Pokemon is considered dead and you can't use it anymore. That's what makes this super challenging. That's that's the kicker right there. Oh, chill, chill. Come quick. Come quickly. Look, it's Pillowberg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Pillowberg Jim. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. All right, we're going to go and handle that line of business. Uh, as I mentioned, if a Pokemon faints, you're not allowed to use it anymore. You got to put it in the box or you got to release it. One of those two. You can't use it anymore. And the, the most important rule, if you ever black out or white out, whichever one this game does. I know they, they switch it up uh, several times throughout the series. If you black out or white out, which is a sign that all your Pokemon on your team currently, all six with you, have fainted. Then the game's over. The run is over and I have lost. Hopefully we don't make it that far. Hopefully we don't make it that far. Oh, you chill. Our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. Why do you keep saying our daughter? Don't you know her name? I know you know her name. Come on. All right, that's their daughter. Let's talk to her. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready and... Huh? Huh? Who, who are you? Oh, you're chill. So your move was today. Hi, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you from chill from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, chill, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, chill. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon! Chill, I'll catch you later! She's got a dope song. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Alright, I believe that's all the basic rules of the Nuzlocke. That's all the basic rules. Uh, as far as rules that I'm implementing, they're kind of a little bit different than, than normal Nuzlocke rules. I'll explain that after this segment. I could hear someone shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Let's go help. Help me. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. All right. So this is the most important part of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we get to pick our starter, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the game has been randomized. The game has been randomized, which means you're not going to run into the same Pokemon that you expect in a normal playthrough. You're not going to see Torchic, Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip. Had to think of what they are. You're not going to see those three in this bag. At least you shouldn't because it's been randomized. Uh, instead, let's see our starters now. So we can pick between Ralts, a Psychic-type. 
Aaron, a steel type, or Wismer, a normal type. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is interdasting. All three of these are interesting choices, really good choices, if you ask me. If I have to pick between these three, I want to mix it up. I want to mix up how I normally play this game. And the only way to truly mix this one up is if I go air on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have air on for a starter. This is going to be crazy. Here we go. All right. Poochiena versus Aaron. All right. So we have Tackle and Harden as our moves. I didn't randomize the Pokemon stats, what they evolve into, the moves that they have, things like that. No, I kept that normal. We got to keep something the same. Here's Tackle. And we missed. And we missed. All right. It's not going to do too much. It's going to take 20 hits for Poochiena to... Uh, take Aaron out. So as long as you know we don't miss twenty more times, should be all right. Good work, good work, Aaron. Oh, that little HP gain. Oh, that makes me sad. It's gonna be one of those. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those series, boy. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi. You're chill. This is not the place to chat. So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, chill. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you bowed earlier, you pulled it off with aplomb. This this game was... This game was, what, 2000... Was it 2001 or 2000? It was 2002. This game was 2002. 15 years old, and I still don't know what aplomb means like that. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. So we have Aaron as our leader this time around, boy. Let's give Aaron a nickname. All right, we got to give Aaron a nickname. Let's see. Aaron is a Steel-type Pokemon. He's really defensive. I kind of want to name him. Tough. I feel like that's a that's a bad nickname though. We're going with tough. We're going with tough. I can't think of anything in five seconds. Tough to air on, ladies and gentlemen. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. Might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? All right. Great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. All right. So as I mentioned, if your Pokemon faints before, uh, mm, 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 mm. I didn't mention that. Uh, as I mentioned, if your entire team faints, you black out or white out, and then the Nuzlocke run is over. One of the rules I'm implementing is that those rules don't come into play, that rule at least, don't come into play until you have the ability to catch Pokemon. Did we really just run into a Magikarp on Route 101? Great. <laughs> okay, so the rules don't come into play just yet because we don't have the ability to catch Pokemon. So we don't have to worry about encounters until we have the ability to have Pokeballs. Not until we have Pokeballs, but until we have the ability to get Pokeballs. So so all these encounters from here up until that point, they don't matter. They don't count. We'll have to keep track of anything. Speaking of keeping track, uh, I was checking the Nuzlocke Reddit, r slash Reddit, r slash Nuzlocke. That, that's how you use Reddit. There we go. I was checking that one day and I ran across uh, a post about an app to keep track of Nuzlocke. I'm going to be trying to use that uh, throughout the course of this Nuzlocke because the method I used last time was not cool. <laughs> it was not cool. So I'll use that. Occasionally I'll post screenshots that allow you to see what it looks like as well. And in the description below, you will see a link on how to get that app for yourself. Uh, it's for Android phones. I believe it's not for iOS, if I'm mistaken, that app will be there too, or that link will be there too. Hi, I work at a Pokemart. 
Can I get you to come with me? You're not giving me an option. Nobody's giving me an option to do anything yet. This is a Pokemart. Just look at our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokeballs. Here. I like I have this. Excuse me. I like you to have this as a promotional item. So we gave us a potion. We've got two potions thus far. A potion can be used anytime, so it's more even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. Alright, I don't think we can come in here and buy Pokeballs just yet. Welcome. How may I serve you? Nope, we can't buy Pokeballs. It'll be okay. We won't need them just yet. We got other things that we must handle before we wrap this episode up. Alright, move out my way, face. Move out my way, face! Alright, so we're on Route 103 now. And another encounter. This better not be anything dumb. Oh, sweet lord! It's a why not? It's a why not? That's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna tackle it. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. It's got charm. Okay. So one of the things I did with this randomizer, as I always do, is I made it so that when Pokemon are randomized, they're randomized evenly. That means Pokemon are more or less on the same power level as what you would encounter regularly. For example, that Magikarp that we ran into. That Magikarp was probably in place of a Zigzagoon or a, a Poochiena. Something like that. It's nothing, nothing is replaced ridiculously. For example, if we're going to run into a legendary Pokemon, we're not. I repeat, not going to run into anything like a Magikarp or a Feebas. It's not possible. It cannot happen. So nobody expect that. It can't happen. All right? Don't get mad when I say it's not going to be this one and say you don't, I don't know. No, I know it can't be. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for it to be there. Oh, you're holding an item, Tough. You're holding an item. What is it? It's TM40. We already have our first TM. TMs are randomized. TMs are technical moves which uh, allow you to teach a Pokemon how to use a move they typically normally wouldn't learn learning uh, growing up. But TMs give you the ability to do that. And when they're randomized, it's even more interesting. What TM is it? Sand attack. Okay, we're getting out this menu. <laughs> Don't start already, game. Okay, so there's Magikarp leaving Little Root Town. There's Why Not here. Let's get this little bit of experience now. Let's get this little bit of experience now. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. All right. Okay. Come on, why not? Come on, why not? Here you go. I feel like we need to catch a why not. I feel like we need to catch a why not. It'd be, it'd be amazing. It'd be, it, why not? Moving on. Uh, this is May. This is the woman, the girl that we ran into in the house. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Jill. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. We will not find out what our rival May has as her starter. I'll give you a taste of what it, being a trainer is like. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, May. She's got Wismer for her starter. That's pretty dope. All right. Tough against Whisper. I don't know if Whisper has any damage dealing moves. Maybe Pound? We're going to use Harder. We're faster than her Whisper. That's dope. Yeah, it's got Pound. Perfect. Okay. So we don't even need to Harden anymore. It's not going to do anything. Damn! Ooh, that crit, though. Go ahead, Tough. I'm here for it, boy. One more. Damn, tough. Tam is tough as here for the day, boy. Ooh, and it leveled up. Level six. Go work. Wow, that's great. Chill, you're pretty good. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. All right, tough dominate that fight. Honestly, I was kind of a little bit scared for that fight. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting tough to be faster than than her Whismer. Tough is is steel and rock. 
I believe it's either Steel and Rock, Steel and Ground, one of those two. It definitely should not have been faster, but I'm proud. I am I am proud. I can say that one. All right. Chill over here. Let's hurry home. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Low Root Town. And then we need to stop by the lab. We need to stop by Professor Birch's lab. Oh, hi, Chill. I heard you beat May on the first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Chill, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. We got the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, wow, Chill, you got a Pokedex, too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you, too. We got Pokeballs. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nuzlocke is officially on once we get Pokeballs. It's fun to if you can get it's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Here we go. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Y'all bothered me about this one. You better be ready. <laughs> Wait, chill. Chill, chill. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Now put a zip in your step. All right, so we got the running shoes. Chill, those shoes with, came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. <sighs> All right. It's time. We are, we are, we're ready. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. As soon as we leave, as soon as we leave Little Root Town, our Nuzlocke truly begins. We're able to start catching Pokemon, raising up our team. We're going all the way to the end on this one, boys and girls. If you enjoyed this first episode of our Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified anytime a video goes live or we start streaming from the channel. <sighs> Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more. Here on Alt Play, it's time for a new adventure. <laughs>